and we're back another bobby's backyard auto works here today we got a 2001 porsche boxster eh it's a little rough but it's not bad it's still clean though not a bad car it's got 150,000 miles and uh yeah somebody trusted me with their porsche headlights are a little burnt he said he might get new ones i might install new ones on that we'll see uh, but the story is is that uh he bought it and uh it is a manual five speed let's see if i um so he just got it the seat's a little torn so i'm gonna see what i can do there um he's looking for another seat it does need a top it is ripped faded and everything but the story is like let me go back to the story because people are going to say why isn't he getting the top done here's the story uh he went and parked in a parking lot had rocks in front with bushes about five feet from there and this thing has remote start well he didn't know that he pressed the button on accident and he had it in gear and it took off and so it um it either ripped or broke one of the radiators in there i think it's the pa uh you know passenger side i'm gonna check i'm gonna have to take off the bumper i think to check on both of the radiators so yeah so that's what we're gonna do right now so let's take off the front bumper all right well to inspect the uh radiators i'm not sure if you gotta take off the front bumper or not I'm going to loosen up the wheels, jack it up. Maybe there's an access panel on the bottom or a splash shield or something. But yeah, let me loosen up the wheels, jack it up and see before I start taking off the front bumper. Maybe not. Maybe you don't have to. All right. Got the bumper off. Got the radiator shroud off. That's this piece right here. This radiator survived. There's nothing wrong with it no nothing there's no 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 use in uh taking this off and checking it it's dry bone dry so luckily he just wiped out one radiator i think the condenser is okay but yeah see, leaking right there around there and up here so it probably cracked somewhere up there i'm gonna take the condenser off yeah it's got rubber hoses so i can move that to the side and inspect it some more but yeah, a lot of trash. Bet you that's why these overheat. People don't take this off. It's not that hard to take off the bumper. But after 22 years, not too bad. Alright, let's take off the condenser. Man, look at that dirt. I'm going to clean this. I'm going to open up the other one and take off the condenser and see how bad that one is. That's pretty bad. That cannot be good for cooling. So let's clean that out well this radiator i think is gone i still gotta inspect it some more but i think it is gone all right we got it out one hose right there one hose whoops one hose right up there <clears throat> excuse me and then the bolt you take out right there and it slides out and then this is where the one radiator clamps in and then that's where exactly where it broke was right there with the impact that it had from the rocks it knocked this over and it cracked it i'll show you right now so right here it cracked right here and then that's this point right there so the impact was down here so it also cracked over here right in here it's cracked so I'm going to take it to my uh, radiator guy, see if we can put a new tank on it. If not, FCP Euro, $255, free shipping, three-day, uh, um, call it, three-day shipping, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I think that's the best bet, just buying a new one, and it's the same, it's a male mall bear, and that's what this one is, so it's an exact replacement. And it's another day here, Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. We're back on the 2000, 2001, thank you neighbor, uh, Porsche Boxster. Finally got the radiator in. We missed the last episode. Um, he hit something on the road, or actually in the parking lot, 
and it broke it right here under the crack on the mounting point and then on the bottom neck on the impact so broke those two what well, came to be two to three day delivery is uh, two to three weeks now so I got the coolant today and I got the radiator yesterday from uh, FCP Euro came in clutch everyone in, in locally here unavailable not in stock so I really like to thank FCP Euro it took a while but like I said I got it so and I used honey gave me 15 bucks off how you like that so uh, so since it sat for so long battery went dead and this Harbor Freight I like this battery charger from there I've reconditioned a lot of batteries and they've come back to life and stayed charged for a while just like the PT Cruiser that's back of the Mercedes used to die like every two three days I put that on there for two three days now it lasts a week two weeks and it'll start but enough of that let's get back on the uh, Porsche and let's take off the front bumper again and install the new uh, radiator two minutes bumper was off I only had it on with four bolts so the bumpers off sitting over there here's the mounting bracket for it the shroud radiator hose radiator hose is still good so we're not gonna replace that fan assembly the clips for the fan assembly so let's put it all together new radiator right here matches exact so let's get it together all right we got it all installed let's see if i can get some light here got everything all buttoned up tightened plugged in now i just got to put in the condenser put the bolts in got them right there then put the uh whatever you want to call it the, uh, the shroud front shroud and it has a rear shroud but yeah cool almost done it's all put together and i went to go fill it had a leak uh, it was a top uh, little air return hose fixed it and now there's no leak so now let's fill up the rest of it it was full i lost about a quart that's all right i still got another gallon so let's fill it up again all right she's all filled up with the correct coolant but also what else i also gotta check is uh customer states that he hears a weird noise coming from the engine I'm thinking it's a bad pulley or tensioner so just got to pull this back and then take off this cover right here so let's take this cover off it gives you access to the front of the engine and we'll see what's making noise there's the little uh, shield and I just took out the carpet there was only two of these clips on it the rest were not there so you just pop those clips off it comes off and there you have it get access to the engine in front of it anyways you can change the alternator whatnot checking the belts not too bad but I'm gonna start it get up the temperature get check the coolant again and while that's getting up the temperature I'm gonna check for noises up here you can probably hear it I knew it was one of the pulleys is this one right here look at this that is no good so that's what's causing the problem all right that's gonna wrap up the uh, video on the radiator it's all put back together no leaks no nothing got it up to temperature it's gonna wash it up and then uh, next I'm gonna change that idler pulley I'm gonna order it up I might just get it locally at AutoZone. I'm not gonna wait. So, until the next day. It's another day here. You even got the owner here. He's putting on his registration. Got the belt loose. So I'm gonna loosen up the pulley. 
here's the new pulley you got it at uh autozone it's a two three one one seven three so let's slap it on well guys we got a little problem here bearing blew up and i took it out pieces everywhere this piece is supposed to come off and separate from here over so this piece can slide on to this new one. Oh boy so i'm gonna spray it down and try to separate it if not we'll cut it do it that way with wd-40 i sprayed some in there and bam came off i hit it shocked it and then i got some pliers and twisted it with these and these back and forth and finally came loose thank goodness Whew. we would have been dead in the water if i couldn't get that out so let's put the new one on and see if the noise is gone all right we got the cover all back on should be quiet now like i said it was the bearing so we'll start her up and see what it sounds like oh yeah that's nice nice and quiet and that's gonna end bobby's backyard auto works on the 2001 porsche boxster radiator pulley and all that so until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. We'll talk to you guys later.